they call me that It's a fact, girl Oh, you didn't know? Don't try to act, girl You know you see me coming Just Hey y'all, it's your girl Chi, and for today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I got this hair look. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Also, follow me on my social media, which I'll link in the description box below. But today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I got this hair look. I'm absolutely in love with it. It turned out great. This hair is from Nadula Hair. Nice highlighted hair, really cute for the summer. It's cool to, you know, spice up some black hair every once in a while. For the first two weeks that I got this hair, I wore it jet black. And I loved it, y'all. 26 inches of life, honey. Like, look at this. It's all down my back. It's really, 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 really pretty. Um, I had no problems with the hair. Minimal tangling, minimal shedding. Um, no real problems with the hair. Except the, at the nape of the neck, it, it kind of like matted up a little bit. But besides that, like the hair was fine. Um, I just love this hair, y'all. I have put this hair through a lot because I processed this hair and bleached this hair so much and it still stayed really light and really bright and really pretty. So you guys will really like that about this hair. Um, I'm gonna link everything to do with this hair in the description box below. And if you wanna see how I got this look, then keep on watching. So this is how the hair came packaged in this box. Um, they gave me an FAQ on how to take care of your hair and all that good stuff. I also got a wig cap these lashes that no one likes <laughs> and the wig so the wig comes in the net and then it also has this styrofoam to like hold the shape of the wig so that when it comes to you it's like in the best condition and I love that about the wig as you can see I have a 13 by 6 180 density lace front straight uh, Brazilian straight wig the hair is just absolutely gorgeous you can see that natural luster natural shine A nice medium brown lace so that'll be easy to blend with my skin tone and get that perfect lace melt. It also comes with comb so that it's easy to attach to your um, natural hair and it'll stay in place all day. Uh, an elastic band in the back. And lastly, it came with the most perfect pre-plucked hairline. I hardly had to pluck anything to make it look natural. So finally we can begin, yay! So I'm taking BW2 Clairol Bleaching Powder and a 50 volume developer. This is all I had at the time, y'all. You don't have to use the, uh, such a strong developer. I'm just showing you guys the hair right here. This is how it looks when it was jet black. Ooh, it looks so good, y'all. I just love, I'm a sucker for jet black, okay? It was really pretty and it stayed super, super silky. So I've got my powder here and what I'm gonna do is mix it up with um, some conditioner because I was running out of bleaching powder and that is a tip to make it stretch a little bit. Um, and also, it kind of slows down the processing too because I didn't really need it to get too light. I was going for more of like a, a chocolatey brown. So I'm just working my bleach up um, the wig and I'm only going halfway up with this bleach because I kind of wanted it to have a sort of like ombre effect. And I'm skipping some pieces, like I'm, you know, putting bleach on one piece of hair, then leaving one piece of hair black because I, I wanted there to be like, you know, some dimension and different colors. And I'm not a pro, y'all, so I really was just doing what works for me. And it really ended up coming out really good. So, yeah, I'm not a professional. I'm not, like, I don't know how to highlight professionally, but this came out very, very cute. So if you follow my steps, you should be good. Also, keep in mind that when you're, you know, distributing your bleach all over your hair, that you don't have any harsh lines. You want this to be very, like, flowy and look effortless. So, like, you can see here, I take my brush and I kind of, like, you know, make it all jagged so it's not, like, a sharp line showing the demarcation from the black to the brown. So, I washed this hair using my orange shampoo and I conditioned it and then I let it air dry and this is how it looks. I'm just not a fan of like the orange brassy kind of look, so um, so I decided to, you know, use some box dye and see if I could create highlights like that. So I have some Revlon box dye and this is the color dark brown, dark soft brown, and then this one is light ash brown. And what I did was distinguish, that's my brand, the Sochi Collection, shop the link in bio, but um, I used my little bundle sticker to like, you know, separate it so I know that's the darker color and what I did was I would alternate between the dark color and the light color 
just so like my hair would have dimension you know like when you go out in the sun and you see some like cool colors and different hues like it would look really cute so that's what I'm doing right now I'm just alternating back and forth This is also good to like correct your mistakes. So with the dark bottle, I corrected some of my mistakes because I went a little too high with the um, bleach. So I just fixed any mistakes I had with the darker dye. My goal for this hair look was like, you know, dark roots um, into like chocolatey brown ombre and like light blonde and light brown and caramel highlights. So it was really good that I did this technique. So this is what the color ended up looking like. Um, it's, you can see it better in the sun, like the camera's doing it no justice, but it's really beautiful, like I, I just loved it. But I felt like it was missing something. So I decided to bleach it again and right here you just see me parting my um, front two pieces because that's why I wanted like it to be bleached. So I'm just parting it in a triangular parting. Combing it out and I'm going to add the bleach to it. I used foil this time around because I wanted it to, you know, bleach a little faster. And this is me over here trying to be a hairstylist, fake ass. <laughs> I'm doing the little um, technique, to, you know, I don't know, like highlighting weave in and weave out technique. I was trying to do it. And I did it too. <laughs> so I'm just, I, I put some highlights. I just separated the hair in half and added highlights back there too. Just so if I ever wanted to like wear my hair half up, half down, there would be highlights back there too. I let the, um, I let this bleach for like 40 minutes. And then I washed it out, I used my purple shimmer light shampoo. So this is the final look. As you can see, we got some really pretty chocolate brown, some light brown, some caramel, some honey. I'm obsessed with this wig. It is so beautiful on, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and have a blessed day. Bye, guys.